I've never been happier and excited to make a video to talk to you guys. Yes, we did it. We finally did it. And you guys might be wondering what am I talking about, right? Some of you guys? It's okay, I'll tell you guys. But hi, hi to all of you guys. Oh, finally. Let me go ahead to bring my screen up and tell you guys what I'm talking about. Many of you guys should already know about it, but yes, I'm here to tell you guys about the updated interaction radius that Pokemon Go and Niantic has updated us and decided to finally communicate with us properly. So under the news section in Pokemon Go app itself, there is a news that says update on interaction radius. When I woke up just around an hour ago and logged on to Pokemon Go and this popped up and I saw this, I'm like, oh my god, it finally happened. And I, I did a rough read of it and I wasn't awake at that point of time to read what's going on on Twitter and all the excitement that was going on. But here we go, man. Let's go and read this together. Trainers, we are looking forward to sharing our plans as a result of the task force on September 1st. But one thing does not have to wait. When I read that statement, I'm like, okay, that is it. Then I continued reading. From now on, 80 meters will be the base interaction radius for Pokestops and gyms globally. Woohoo! Seriously, guys. You guys do not know how happy I am right now. I'm happy because of a few reasons. First of all, I'm really happy that Niantic and the Pokemon company has really hurt us as a community. And second of all, I'm really happy that we as the community worked together to get this achieved. And third of all, I'm really happy that Niantic did really put into consideration probably a few factors, including the current pandemic that's still going on in New Zealand and US. Yeah, New Zealand had lockdown and US, the cases are spiking and they are actually taking that into consideration. I hope they did, all right? So continue reading. Thank you to everyone who made your voices heard. We have heard you and understand that this has been a welcome benefit to many players. We will share more next week. Awesome. Thank you for hearing us, Niantic. Thank you for hearing us, Pokemon Company. That's all. That's all we wanted, a reply from you, whether it's just an in-game communication reply or whatsoever, that's all we ask for. Whether it's about an issue that's going on or whether it's about something that many of us players are very concerned about. So with that, we're going to check out Twitter also. Okay, and like I said, I only knew about this news uh, after waking up like roughly an hour ago and I tweeted it out. And I would like to just say a huge thank you to every one of you guys, whether you are a content creator or whether you are just a Pokemon Go trainer or whether you are even the media gaming media websites who have actually uh, made news articles about this. Huge thank you to every single one of you guys for making this possible. And I'll tell you guys how I felt during the point of time when you know we were undergoing this three weeks of no communication from Niantic after we made this uh, movement possible. So let's scroll down also. I actually retweeted something from Pokemon Go, which I've never done in a very long time. So Pokemon Go tweeted out 11 hours ago, trainers, we are looking forward to share our plans, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it's exactly the same thing. But look at the number of retweets, look at the number of likes, look at the number of, you know, uh, comments, I guess. There were 2,000 over comments. All right, uh, can I actually uh, uh, yeah, can I actually go from here? More than 2,000 comments, 5,400 retweets, and 26,500 likes. If you guys want to try and do something, you guys can scroll down and look at every single tweet that, you know, Pokemon Go have, has ever done, including Pokemon Go Fest, you know, the biggest event this year, uh, where is it? Uh, Pokemon Go Fest, you guys can go and look for it. That did not even receive half the amount of tweets that, half the amount of likes, sorry, that that particular tweet, um, you know, had, even though it's been out for just 11 hours. So it's just truly amazing to me that, you know, the community wanted this and, you know, we really, really am appreciative that 
Pokemon Go and Niantic has done something positive in the community to make a change for that. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to scroll down to see, but you guys can go ahead and take a look. Uh, I think the highest one was 11,000 or something like that likes for one of the tweets that uh, Pokemon Go did regarding Pokemon Go fans. I think I think 17,000 or 11,000, I cannot remember. But that was the, the announcement for Pokemon Go Fest 2021. Yeah, hi, Zoe. Okay, thank you very much, Zoe. Zoe was the one who actually uh, wrote the letter, and if it's not for the open letter that you know uh, Zoe made, I'm very sure that wouldn't have happened, that wouldn't have made a huge impact to Niantic wanting to change their mind to revert the distance back to 80 meters or so. So thank you to Zoe. Awesome. So with that all, you know, yeah, why do you drift all the way there? That's something that Niantic can't control so because this place is so drifty. I finally decided that I am going to, um, you know, spend Pokecoins uh, and also uh, purchase uh, Pokecoins here in Pokemon Go. But before I do that though, I'm just gonna tell you guys how this entire three weeks went down. First of all, Niantic was supposed to give us an answer by the 1st of September, correct? As given to them their deadline to us. However, Niantic has given us a reply six days before the actual deadline itself. So I'm very appreciative of that already. That's one. And second of all, for them to give a very, 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 very unexpected positive reply, I'm even more excited. I'm very sure the whole community feels the same way as me. Of course, for those of you who did not experience the reduce in the interaction distance, maybe you guys did not feel that way, but I, for one, did not experience the half interaction distance at all. My distance here in Singapore did not get reverted, but I feel for the community in New Zealand, in America, and worldwide who are facing the same problem, even though maybe you guys did not even experience it yourself because you guys see your friends being affected, this and that, da 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 da. It's a ripple effect. It's a ripple effect such that your friends in America experience this, they feel unhappy playing the game. Likewise for myself, I feel unhappy when the community is unhappy, you know, with the game. Hence, I'm really happy that this positive change has happened, reverting back to 80 meters, and I hope it is a permanent thing, but I'm not looking forward, you know, like expecting it to be a permanent thing because once the pandemic is totally, totally over, I won't be surprised Niantic will actually revert it back to 40 meters, which I respect the decision. I respect the decision to go back to 80 meters because of the reasons they have given, and I also accept those reasons. However, right now, the pandemic is still going on, and clearly, in America, the cases are still going up. Right now, it's at the second highest peak as compared to a few months ago where it reached the highest peak so far. Yeah. So I won't go too much into details about the coronavirus the cases or whatsoever in whichever countries because if you ask me if Niantic should actually uh, look in accordance to each country or whatsoever and uh, depending on whether the countries get locked down for them to actually get the distance reverted, yeah, they did revert the distance back for New Zealand after suffering one case and after having locked down for the whole of New Zealand. Well, so what if you are in a country that, you know, you can go out like here in Singapore, we can go out and do stuff, but our distance is still 80 meters or did not get reverted at all. Why isn't that happening? So does Niantic have to go around and like source out every single country's like rules and regulation and the current coronavirus situation to determine whether each country should get a reverted distance or not? Well, that's kind of stupid to me, but hopefully Niantic doesn't go that path and uh, they should just do it globally for now, what I feel. So, I just want to tell you guys, for the last three weeks, all right, after the whole entire he hashtag here ask Niantic movement happened, in fact, before that already, I was feeling really, really, really down. My mood was really, 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 like, the worst ever, ever, ever playing Pokemon Go. In my five years of playing Pokemon Go, I've never felt so demoralized playing Pokemon Go. It was so bad that, for the last almost two weeks, I've been waking up at around 3.30 or 4 p.m. every day just because I do not have the motivation to go out and play Pokemon Go. I play it very, very minimally. I probably play 10% of how I used to play before this entire whole crazy ordeal happened, okay? Yeah, so that's not me. And my friends, you know, like even me and me, Auntie Gladys and Anne, I've not met them for the like the last one week already because I did not have the motivation to meet them when they went out to grind on Saturday and Sunday. They grinded for an hour or two only. I didn't even meet them at all. I told them I was supposed to meet them, but eventually I slept till the evening 
I didn't even meet them at all. I didn't have the motivation to go out and meet them to play and whatsoever. I know Darumaka is spawning the wow. And I actually still want to get Candy XL for Darumaka. But I don't even have the mood to go out and play Pokemon Go at all because of the whole thing that's going on. Not only including the fact that I'm not spending Pokecoins in the game. Yes, I can tell you guys for a fact that spending Pokecoins and not spending Pokecoins, there's a very, very big difference in terms of how you play Pokemon Go and your motivation to play Pokemon Go. That I definitely understand even since day one of playing Pokemon Go. However, the thing that hit me the hardest was all the thing that's going on with Niantic and how they treat the community that infuriates me every single day when I see social media and them not saying a single thing at all. Just let you guys know, my, my style of playing Pokemon Go, you know, I grind so many hours a day. However, for the last one week, I actually went to catch a movie. There, were, there was a time that far in five or six days, I actually spent my whole day watching movies, all right? I watched 10 movies in five or six days. Yeah, that's a first for me. That's probably my record ever in such a short amount of time to actually go and watch movie without playing Pokemon Go. Of course, when I'm at the cinema itself, there are Pokestops, there are gyms, and there are you know a few Pokemon there to catch. However, since I'm not moving around, since I'm not even putting incense, since I'm not even putting Leos, of course, the number of catches that I'm able to do is very minimal. I'm not even able to do remote raids because I'm not spending Pokecoins on them. So, hence, my motivation to play Pokemon Go slowly, slowly, slowly dwindled away. I'm very sure that happened to many of you guys also. I know the damage has been done. I hope Niantic realizes also that the damage has been done. Damage has been done to the community in terms of motivation to want to play Pokemon Go. Myself included. When this whole entire thing happened, sorry, let me connect my ball plus. It fainted. I mean, uh, I, I, I don't really need to connect it, but I'll do it. When this whole thing happened, and I did mention that I'm not going to spend Pokecoins until the 1st of September, until Niantic gives us a reply, I was very firm about it. And I tweeted out showing that I did not even buy anything, including the one Pokecoin box for a remote raid pass. I'm not even going to buy it because I do not want to give into temptation using that one Pokecoin, using the remote raid pass, and eventually I'll be like, okay, since I bought one, why don't I buy a second one? Why don't I buy a third one and fourth one? No, I'm not even going to give you a single Pokecoin at all, Niantic. That's how firm I was, all right? So I was already planning how I would actually make my videos, which I did. I show you guys me playing Pokemon Go without spending a single Pokecoin at all, and I, I enjoyed it. It's a very, very different way of playing Pokemon Go. You guys can see from the last two years of me producing Pokemon Go videos for you guys, I always have all my premium items on doing raids like non-stop. However, now that I'm restricted to not spending any Pokecoins, of course, I had to come up with more ideas to actually uh, produce content for you guys. And it was a struggle. It was a struggle, but definitely it was a fun thing to experience or so. However, I did talk of how I'm going to continue my YouTube channel depending on Niantic's response after the 1st of September. So the first few responses, possible responses that Niantic could come up with is they tell us that, okay, yes, they are not going to revert the distance back to 80 meters and they're going to stick to 40 meters for America. If they're going to do that, I told myself that I'm not going to be spending the way I used to spend last time, which I've mentioned in one of my videos. I said I spend, I usually spend four to 5,000 United States dollars per month on Pokemon Go. I'm not going to go that route anymore. I'm not going to incubate all my uh, eggs. I'm not going to be raiding all the way. I'm not going to use my lucky eggs, my incense, and whatever premium items all the way anymore. However, I'm still going to invest money on the game just so that I can produce quality content and you know like really 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 crazy content for you guys to see it's very difficult to do like you know a huge number of raids or in fact hatch a huge number of eggs to actually get a certain pokemon for you guys to see to, for you guys to be entertained without spending pokecoins hence I told myself that I was going to invest just for solely for YouTube itself if Niantic wasn't going to revert back to the 40 meters However, if Niantic was going to revert us the, you know, 40, 80 meters, give us back the 80 meters, I told myself I'm going to go back to my usual way of spending, lucky egg, incense, everything all on back again, all right? Because I do not want to support Niantic, but hence I still need to, you know, invest in my business because uh, clearly you guys and myself also enjoy seeing, you know, like, Chinese and Handos and whatsoever 
than to see someone use free rate pass etc every single day which clearly many of you guys can do it also hence uh, that's not exactly exciting to watch already all right so with that all being said i actually have a few videos that have not been released yet that are still you know me showing you guys uh, using free rate passes so um, just uh, enjoy those videos but from now on all right this is the first time that i'm kind of going to buy items again after 21 days yeah, after three weeks of not buying anything at all, I'm finally going to the shop to buy something. Look at it. My one Pokecoin event box. I've not even tapped on it to see what it is. I'm not I wasn't interested in it at all. I wasn't interested to I'm not I'm not wasn't even even interested about like you know boosting my, my stats, my XP or getting handles or shinies or whatsoever. Cause I was just so mentally stressed during that three weeks. Alright? I just didn't feel like playing the game and whatsoever. So, but now finally, Niantic has given us a very positive response. I'm finally willing to buy this. Okay, yes, it's kind of like a free, you know, remote rate pass. But yes, I'm gonna continue to buy the usual items that I normally buy. My remote rate passes, my uh, incenses. I normally buy 16 incenses. Um, so that I can put for the whole entire day. Usually I'll uh, have it run for like 16 hours or whatsoever and I'll buy four sets of the eight times lucky eggs because that will also allow me to run the same number of hours as the 16 incenses. All right, so 32 uh, lucky eggs, they will last for 16 hours also. I don't think I'll be buying lures right now. I did not even put any lures down at all. Even if you want to check out, I still have the I still have the Mozi lure and the Glacier lure that I got from the time research from the EV community day, the time research. I didn't even buy the, uh, the special research. I didn't even complete the special research. I See, community day EV, that is for the time research. For the special research, I didn't even play it at all. I didn't even want to bother. I didn't even buy the, uh, the Elite Fast and Charge TMs from that, um, from that uh, community day at all. Yeah. <sighs> Niantic, Niantic, Niantic. Oh yeah, I'll put all the, the items. Oh yeah, and I forgot that I need to also buy uh, incubators, which I'll do so. See, I forgot how to play Pokemon Go already. Let me tell you guys this, like... <laughs> there, there, were, there were times that I was asking myself, like, will I ever forget how to, like, <laughs> play Pokemon Go after not playing Pokemon Go the usual way as how I play? And that might happen, you know, over time, but uh, high chance that wouldn't happen, but no. So, Niantic... I just hope that something like this does not happen again in the future. It's a very good choice that you, Niantic, and also John Henke, the CEO of the company, has made this choice to revert the distance back to 80 meters to please the community. But remember, damage has been done and collateral damage has also been done. All right, if you ask me if I enjoy this kind of things where, yeah, 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 when I make videos, the views are a lot. But that's not what I want! I want to enjoy playing the game. Not making this kind of, con I don't know, stupid kind of videos. <laughs> to talk about stupid kind of <laughs> things that can be resolved so easily and not needing the whole community to come together to make a whole huge movement and big hoo-ha about this including all the gaming media websites and even having Bloomberg wanting to interview my friends about this. Yeah, not Bloom, I mean not Bloom, but Washington Post wanting to interview my friends about this. Come on, it's, 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 I just, we, 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 we just want to enjoy playing your game, Pokemon Go, and not be stressed about, you know, the whole process about things that's going on or even outside of the game. That's not fun. That's totally not fun. I mentioned in Trainer Tips video before, a game is for you to enjoy. And if you're not enjoying playing the game, if you're stressed about playing a game, something is really wrong. Something is clearly, clearly wrong. All right? So, I know some people have quit Pokemon Go. I hope they come back. Okay? Including my good friend, Reverso. He did state that after Niantic gave, his, gave the response that he was very unhappy with the response and he decided to officially quit Pokemon Go. I hope this changes his mind and he comes back to play. Okay? Because Pokemon Go to me is not just a game. It is more like a social app where I get the chance to play this game, 
you know, to interact with my friends, to talk about a very, very exciting common topic that we have. It is a very exciting hobby or what I will always say, a lifestyle for some of us. So I really hope you know, Niantic does not screw this up in the future again. But thank you for listening to us. I'm not here to like bash and rant or whatsoever, but I'm just here to express my appreciation. Okay, although not in a very nice way, but thank you, okay, for listening to us, for hearing us, finally. And I just hope, you know, the Pokemon Go community can slowly go back to how it was like, but I can definitely assure you guys that it will not happen, all right? Damage has already been done, whether is it mentally or whatsoever, myself included. If you ask me if I am willing to spend to support Niantic as much I, as I was before, the answer is no. Yeah, I'm not like as excited about Pokemon Go right now as compared to how it was like three weeks ago to spend money on Pokemon Go to play the game. So I'm very sure that's, that's uh, happening for many of you guys and many of you guys who spend, used to spend in the game and not spend the last three weeks. You guys probably felt like, oh, you know, I can just play Pokemon Go without spending Pokecoins and don't want to spend uh, Pokecoins in the game. I respect your decision and not forcing you guys to spend Pokecoins or money on the game at all. Neither am I forcing you guys to continue to not uh, spend money on the game at all. And if you guys actually did go on to play other games and lost your interest in playing Pokemon Go, I respect your decision also. I wish you guys all the best in whatever you guys want to do as long as you guys are happy doing what you guys are doing. Whether is it playing Pokemon Unite or playing other, you know, games in general. I wish you guys all the best, okay? But Niantic, do remember, your player base has been uh, affected. I hope it goes back a bit. But I don't think it'll go back to how it was like last time. That's the truth. Alright, so with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode, in the next video. I'm going to you know, buy uh, the incubators and whatsoever. I need to buy Pokecoins or so. <laughs> I'm left with like a thousand Pokecoins. All right. And hopefully I can produce more exciting content for you guys to watch. And also uh, slowly build up my motivation to play Pokemon Go again. I have to contact Anne and Auntie Gladys to see if they are still interested to play Pokemon Go though. Yeah, Auntie Gladys has been lazing uh, at home for the last uh, one week. Yeah. So goodbye, goodbye, good bye.